Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to make a video just really telling my story and what kind of happened to me because some people might know it and some people might not know it and I really just kind of wanted to get it out there. This all kind of started in about the spring of 2013. I was running a lot and I was having a lot of pain in my back right here and I was having a hard time breathing. And then in July of 2013, I'd gotten home from work real late and I had that pain still and I just kind of stretched back like this and I just couldn't breathe and I had this horrible pain back there and I ended up going to the MAC Center and after a few tests they had saw that there was this mass on my back and I was like well no wonder I couldn't breathe. And I then went to another hospital and they did even more tests and they ended up draining like two liters of fluid off my back and immediately after that I could just breathe so much better and when they did a biopsy of the mass it had come back and I had found out that I had cancer. The type of cancer that I have is called Ewing sarcoma. It's a rare pediatric bone cancer that only accounts for about 1% of all childhood cancers. It's so rare, but it's extremely aggressive. So immediately after I found out, I think it was a week later, I was getting my chemo port put in and then I had started chemotherapy right away. And so I did chemotherapy all the way up until about October of 2013 and then my tumor had shrunk enough so I was able to get it removed. I think the surgery was on November 4th and when I went in I was really nervous. I think anybody would be nervous for a surgery but I had to have two of my ribs removed in the back up here because the tumor had just completely engulfed it. And so I went in, in for the surgery, and then when I woke up, I couldn't feel or move anything below here. And I just, I knew something was wrong immediately, and I remember crying to my mom. I'm like, Mom, I'm not going to run anymore. I'm not going to run anymore. And after uh, getting an MRI done, they had found out that I had become paralyzed. I then spent about a month in the ICU because my lung had collapsed because I wasn't able to get up after my surgery and really walk around like you're supposed to. And so after that month in the ICU, I then had to do, you know, rounds and rounds of chemo still. So I really couldn't get rehabilitated. And I ended up doing chemo all the way until January of 2014. Then I started radiation. I was supposed to be doing radiation and chemo at the same time. But I had gotten such a bad reaction to getting both at the same time, I had to stop the chemo. And then once radiation was over, I then ended up finishing my chemo in June or early July of 2014 and then from there I was finally able to go get and go get rehabilitated. I decided when this happened to me I wanted to go to like the number one rehab hospital and that was in Chicago so I ended up spending a couple months there and I was finally just getting on my own and I was doing a really good job there. Everything seemed like it was coming together. And then I went back for my three month scan and they had found a little, you know, a little mass or something right here showed up on the scan. So I went to go get it biopsied and it had come back that it was Ewing sarcoma and I had found out that my cancer had come back. I was pretty lucky in the fact that it was just 
a small spot and they were just going to go in and take it out. And my oncologist said I didn't even have to do chemo, so I was pretty excited about that. But then by my follow-up scan right before the surgery, they had said it had just blown up completely in my chest wall and the surgeon said that he wasn't going to be able to do the surgery anymore and my oncologist said I could do chemo and it would just extend my life or I could just you know let the cancer kind of just take over me um I really didn't want to do chemo just to extend my life because if anybody has ever gone through chemo or has seen anybody go through chemo, it's it's not pretty and it's not the way you want to spend the rest of your days. I'm a true believer in, you know, quality of life over quantity of life and this just didn't seem like something I wanted to do, but on the other hand, I was like, I, I can't die, you know, I'm only 18 years old. This There has to be something else that I can do. Like, I have to fight this. Like, I just can't let this kill me. I didn't make it this far to just let this, you know, take over me again. So I decided to do chemo and I did chemo, I think it started on like, I think it actually started on Christmas Eve of December of 2014 and I did chemo all the way up until maybe like June of 2015 and by that time I had found out that my tumor had actually shrunk enough and surgery was now an option for me. I decided to get my surgery done at a hospital in Cleveland because there was a hospital in New York City, but they wanted to take out my entire lung on the side and I wasn't going to be able to breathe, especially because where I'm already paralyzed, I have a hard time breathing. So I decided to go with the hospital in Cleveland and they really didn't know how much of my lung or diaphragm they were going to have to take out because that's really where the tumor was. And, you know, they, they explained to me that it was a really risky surgery and I could be on a trach the rest of my life or be on oxygen the rest of my life and I was really scared at this point but I knew like this is a chance it's either take this chance or be on chemo the rest of my life and I decided to take the chance and I was gonna go for the surgery my surgery was scheduled for the beginning of July, and I was extremely nervous for it, but all went well with it. Um, when I came out, I could breathe, and they got most of the tumor. Actually, I think they got all of the tumor. It was just, there's a few live cells in my diaphragm, and that's why I'm doing chemo right now. I'll be doing four to six rounds of it and I have scans coming up, so I'm a little nervous for that, but hopefully all goes well and I can just keep continuing on with this journey and going for my ultimate goal, which would be to walk again. And I plan on not stopping till I get there because I made it this far and I really think I can do it. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Um, like it and share it with anybody you want. And leave comments below and let me know what you think of it.